Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be the currently writing tag. This was originally created by Matilda over at the Nerdy Book Nerd. I'm gonna leave her and her original video on all of the questions down below. So if you wanna do this tag, you definitely should and all the information is down there for you. With Camp NaNoWriMo just around the corner, I realized that although I have talked about my current work in progress that I'll be working on it then quite a lot, but I got so many new subscribers in November around NaNoWriMo time and after that, that even though I've talked about that work in progress a lot, it's kind of been spread out over the last year or so. So I decided to just make a quick video here so if anybody that's newer to my channel or kind of wants all the information in one place, this is gonna be basically all the information about my work in progress. So without further ado, let's just get right into the questions. Question number one, what are you currently working on? So my work in progress is called Monstrous and Imaginary Friends. I'm about to start draft four, but it's essentially the story of a young boy who got attacked by a monster in the middle of the night, and now his imaginary friend and the monster under his bed have to team up to find out who attacked him and get justice and or revenge. I try to kind of toe that line between whimsical and really dark. Like they have to go into the imagination world where it's a little bit nonsensey and there's all these imaginary friends and creatures and fun stuff, but they also have to go to the monster realm which is dark and it's scary and it's at its core about a little boy who was viciously attacked at one point. So it's a dark story, but there's a lot of childish elements thrown in and I really like that comparison. But yeah, that is in a nutshell what I'm working on. Question number two, what is your current word count? I just double checked and it's 39,357 words. When I went into draft two, I cut out a major part of the story because it just wasn't working and it was completely unnecessary. So that really dropped my word count down to I think like 27,000 words or something like that. And then in draft three, I added in a subplot that just fit way better with the story and beefed my word count back up. Well, not beefed up, compared to 27,000 words. 40,000 is, is a good chunk more. But I kind of had to rush some things and there's definitely more that needs to be added and more detail and more information and world building and stuff that because of the things that I cut and the things I added, it just wasn't built solidly enough for me to really get much of it done in draft three. So in draft four, I will be beefing up my word count a lot, but as of right now, it's sitting at just shy of 40k. Question number three, what is your current deadline? So because this is going to be a Camp NaNoWriMo rewrite, my current deadline for this draft is going to be April 30th, but I would like to have the whole project done, complete, finished by the end of the year. I've mentioned it before, but I'm not planning on actually publishing this story but I do plan to have it available for people, if that makes sense. I made a whole video explaining this that I'll link above and below if you want to know more and you haven't seen that video. But basically, I would like to have it done by the end of the year, but it's more of a personal deadline than a real deadline because I'm not actually planning on pursuing publishing with this project. Question number four, what is your current writing music or song? And unfortunately, I don't have one. I don't usually write to music. I can write to music and I used to sometimes. Lately, for the most part, when I'm writing, I just have an old author to write in on. My work schedule is just always the worst time for all of the write-ins. It just, with my time zone and their time zones and my shift being a little bit weird, I just feel like I happen to miss every single one. <laughs> Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but anyways, I haven't been catching any live ones lately, but I'm hoping that for Camp NaNoWriMo, I'll be able to make it to more of them because Things at work have changed, and you all know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to get into it, but I'm going to be hopefully attending some more, but I don't usually listen to music because I'm listening to people chatting or the sounds of people typing. The sounds of people typing is my favorite writing ambient sound. <laughs> so yeah, as of right now, there isn't a song or playlist. Question number five, what is your current writing snack? <laughs> and this one, I've got really excited, like a lot more excited than I should be, which is just, that sums me up as a person. But I was at the grocery store like three months ago and I found these. They are cosmic brownies. I've only had them once. And as soon as I see these and eat these, I'm just in such a writing mood. And I think that it's because like a year ago or something, Brooke from By the Brook, she used to eat these for some of her writing vlogs. And I don't even think she ate them that long, but they were just like her go-to writing snack. And they just always looked so good in the videos. So now, whenever I see those and I think of those, I immediately think of Brooke in writing. So every time I see those, I get into a writing mood. So I bought them months ago and I've been saving them for Camp NaNoWriMo. So those, I'm very excited, are going to be my writing snack. Question number six, what is your current writing problem, struggle, or hurdle? 
I think right now is going to be really getting the world building down pat and trying to make it really match the tone. Because with all of my previous projects, I would say it's been a very standard fantasy setting, you know, like slightly medieval and forests and quests and knights and battles, like that kind of thing. So I'm familiar and I'm comfortable with writing that type of scenery, that type of atmosphere and getting that vibe down. But this is completely different. This is a lot more almost nonsense. It's whimsical and it's very dark at times. And I really want to make sure that that tone is very clear because I want that abrupt shift when they go from one world to the other. There's a little bit of the struggle of getting the image in my head onto the page properly, which is just the usual struggle. But I really want that tone to be strong. So I can describe his bedroom when the scene starts, but I need to describe it in a way that seems almost bland. And I can describe the imagination world, but I need it to sound weird and nonsensical and like you're in this kind of topsy-turvy fantasia type place. And then I can describe the monster realm, but I need it to sound dark and scary. And I just really want those to sound really different. And it's just something that I haven't done before, at least not to that extent. So it's something that I wouldn't say is really a problem or a struggle. It's just definitely the thing that's going to be the most difficult for right now. And the thing that I'm going to have to definitely focus on the most and put the most work and effort into. Question number seven, who is currently your favorite character? That would have to be Rabla, my monster under the bed. He is so fun to write because he's not a bad guy, but he's a monster that lives under a little boy's bed. But in the imagination world, they have jobs, right? So Jax, the imaginary friend, his job is to be Joey's imaginary friend. And every imaginary friend is assigned a child. And as the child grows up and then they move on to the next kid when the next kid needs them, that kind of thing. And same thing with every monster under the bed. Every child has a monster under their bed. The thing with Rabba is he's not a good guy, but he's not a bad guy. So he, you know, spends his nights terrorizing this little boy because he's trying to teach him to be strong. Because he's trying to teach him, you know, toughen him up a little bit. And that's just how the monster mentality is. And he's just really fun to write because obviously he's a monster under the bed. Like he, he's going to have a little bit of that villainous to him, but it's still trying to make him redeemable and lovable. And I just have a soft spot for him. He is so much fun to write. He is snarky and I just, I really love him. So he is definitely my current favorite character and will probably stay that way. Question number eight, what draft are you currently working on? Like I mentioned, I'm about to start draft four. So I have three completed drafts and this will be my fourth one, which is the furthest I've ever gotten in any project because for the longest time I didn't know revisions were a thing and that's a long story. But yes, I am working on draft four. And finally, question number nine is what is your current number of works in progress? So for this, it's how many other projects do you have that are currently on the go? So I would say projects that are actually on the go, like ones that I've either done a first draft of or quite a bit of a first draft, like not counting ideas or projects that I've started and abandoned. See, I finished a lot of first drafts because I've done NaNoWriMo for, what, eight years now? And I've done camp almost every year. So I have a lot of stories that I would consider work in progress, but I'm not currently making progress towards them. I don't know, ones that I am actively still working on and I've made progress on in the last couple years, I'm going to say like four or five. But if you're counting that as projects that I have a first draft of or have most of a first draft and aren't shelved indefinitely, like ones that I'm planning on getting back to, eventually at least a dozen so yeah i want to say i don't know i am going to make actually a whole video on this eventually of all of the projects that i've started and not finished because there's a lot of them that honestly i don't even remember and there's one that i don't remember at all because i wrote it while i was on a medication that gave me absolutely no memory that i've mentioned before so I have absolutely no memory of that story and I am so curious to reread it and see what a giant mess it is. So yeah, I barely answered that question, but that's the best I can do. 
And there we have it. That was the currently writing tag. Again, all of the questions are in the description, so please do this tag. It was so much fun and it's a great chance to just talk about your project and especially with Camp NaNoWriMo coming around the corner, if you're doing more visions or if you want to talk about your project, it's an excellent tag to do. And please, if you do this tag, link it down below so I can check it out because I love hearing about other people's projects and it's just one of my favorite things about AuthorTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button to let me know and subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, usually reading or writing related. And for the entire month of April, I'm doing reading vlogs for the owls and writing vlogs for Cam NaNoWriMo every week. So if you like vlogs, subscribe and enjoy April. And if you don't like vlogs, subscribe in May. <laughs> so I hope to see you guys next time. And until then, have a great day. Bye.